friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly. I am Devo Lost Time Gaming. We are stepping back into the shoes of Mio and... Oh, that was the wrong button. Mio and... Just Mayu. And we're about to open this door. That's it. That's all the preempting we get this episode. There's a lock engraved with butterfly design on the door. You unlock the door with the butterfly key. And once again, I'm recording this on a dark and stormy night. And, uh... Not very thundery, but it is very rainy, so that's it's really setting the mood for me. I love it. I say, come on, Mayu, don't don't be a creeper. Something is reflecting the light. Sacred water. Oh, I love getting those. Love good old fool heal. What are you looking at, Mayu? Don't be weird. Ooh, also, what is that? Oh, a pair. Apparently the camera's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I saw it though. There's something up there. There's something in the drawer. Pills here. Good. Pills are good. Okay. No, I'm gonna big old nope that. You gotta immediately run away from that at full speed. Oh, it's a ghost. Okay. Yeah, alright, well that... Okay, it's so disturbing. I took another picture. Behind the jumbled items, there's a suit of armor with a giant gash in it. That's great, Mio. Thank you for pointing that out. Let's go in the creepy, totally not dangerous or unsafe room at all and grab the shiny thing. Pistol film, alright. All right, creepy ghost kids. Good, good, good times. It's not good times. It's terrible. Um, what do you say? Should we? Should we look in this way or keep going? Eh, let's let's look in this room. The door is stuck fast. Some Silent Hill two stuff going on there. The door is just jammed. Whoa, now. Okay, you're gone. I can't I can't bring up the camera that fast in a intense situation come on Mayu also Mayu why is your leg damaged and why are you limping there's a lock engraved with a diamond link pattern family crest on the door okay so we're not going that way either so this whole yeah this this whole route's pretty much a dead end here okay I can dig it It's strange in horror games. It's like, I'm glad that this way, this path dead end, so I didn't have to keep going down it. But, like, you think about it, that just means you gotta go down the path that isn't a dead end, and almost certainly has creepy stuff. Mayu, are you, are you coming? You're... Thank you, Mayu. You're slow. You're so slow, Mayu. This is a life or death situation. I'm gonna need you to try a little bit. Also, I really wish I had a flashlight. Have I said that before? I think I have, but... Ceremony Masters Note 3. A book has been stored in shelf. When the twins were born, I was miserable knowing that they were doomed. They were raised freely without pain or sadness. They say the pain of the bleh never stops. The elder sister must kill the younger in the crimson sacrifice ritual. It's a cruel, horrible fate. Okay, so now we get a little insight as to what's going on in the ritual in this game. Also, the elder sister must kill the younger. Um, hey, hey, Mayu, how how old are you? How 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 old are you, Mayu? Are you older than me? Are you? I hope not. Actually, I suppose either one of us killing the other is going to be bad. So something is reflecting the light. Pistol film here. Good, good. Anything over here? No. Well, kind of weird. You made a camera position for nothing so you know good job oh hello shiny yes yeah i'd like that part of the floor is broken and you can see down to the floor below there seems to be something caught in a spider web strung across the hole yet yeah, can you can you grab that mio or no just gonna look at it okay yeah you're, you're just gonna look at it okay that's uh how about we look at it one more time, just for fun? Yeah, that's lovely. That's good. 
Oh, hey, look it. Also, Mayu, I think you were stepping on his shoes there. That's probably unpleasant. Did he knock it down? No. Okay. Nope, I really wanted that thing stuck in the spider's web, but apparently the game's like, nope, it's spider's web. Can't touch that. There's a row of dusty partition screens here. Their sliding screens are rotted and won't move. Okay. A little bad translation there, just for fun. I gotta admit, I'm not really a big fan of spider webs either, Mio, so... Oh, that... Mmm. Mmm. Don't like you being right there. Did not appreciate you being right there. At the entrance to the room, there stands a demonic-looking statue. Okay, at least I wasn't the only one who thought it was unpleasant to look at. Got some faces hanging on the wall there. Got some stuff here. Taboo tome. Among the carefully arranged books, one book in particular clearly stands out. The gate to hell is called the blur. Gaze not upon the blur. Eyes that glimpse the blur will be blinded by the blur. Speak not of the blur. The mouth which utters blur will be made speak to spy the blur. Listen not to the blur. Those who heed the blur are turned heartless by the blur. Well, um. Okay. Uh, you know, that's. That's helpful. And also, they we're referencing the gate to hell again, so that's that's always good when we're doing that. Twin Tome. Among the carefully arranged books, one book in particular clearly stands out. In the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual, the Shrine Maidens become one again. They become a deity and appease the blah. The little Hatter stays here, watching over the human world. The first shall pass through the blah, calming the earth. Okay, well, that, you know, again, that's still not good. Ceremony Master's Note 2, an old book is on the cushion. An outsider visited with perfect timing. I'll use him for the hidden ceremony and pacify the bleh. We must ensure he doesn't escape before that. Ah, uh, yes, some dim rube showed up. We're gonna... Oh, I don't like that camera angle. Also, is that feet? Is that... Is that feet? No, it's just a statue. Okay. Also, I hate you, statue. Mayu's looking at it. All right, Mayu, we'll look at it. There's something in the corner of the room covered with a cloth. You can see what looks like the feet of a statue from under the cloth. Okay, I thought I was going crazy. Okay, we're not going to pull the cloth off and inspect it? No? Okay. Ooh, there are books on each one of these portions here. Among the carefully arranged books, one book in particular clearly stands out. Disaster Tome. If the ritual is not performed, the bleh will open. Inhuman wretches shall burst forth from the bleh. Villagers will be engulfed by the bleh. And the sky will be plunged into darkness. The darkness will spread over the land for generations, awaking the bleh. We must think of this disaster as a repentance... For our failure to fulfill our duty to the bleh, which grants us life. We must accept that this is the reason for our existence. Wow. Okay, well, you know, the more we find out about things here, the, the it's just kind of getting worse, you know? Ritual tome. If the bleh rumbles on a year without the ceremony, a kusabi is needed. A kusabi is an outsider made into a Buddha and offered to the bleh. The more they suffer, the greater the calming of the blood. Oh good, it's like, in case our weird ritual where we sacrifice people to die horribly doesn't work out, we can just get an outsider, torture them, and then, you know, it's just as good. Like, what? Wh what? There's a board attached to the surface. What? Why would you... There's a board attached to the surface. Okay, that's, that's great. I'm, I'm glad. Why, why would you point that out? Sorry, Mayu, you just kind of... Crimson Wing Tome. Okay. Shrine maidens of the past and future made into crimson butterflies return from the bleh as guardians of the village. Those that become butterflies ascend to heaven, parting the skies above, inviting the light upon us. You put the ritual tome in your file. Well, that's great. Mayu... I'm gonna need you to not say stuff like that, okay? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna need you to, I'm just gonna need you to stop doing that. 
Oh, we're not going to look at the... There's a board on the wall now? We're, we're not interested in that now. Okay. Is that a door? That looks like a door. That is a door. Why is there a door here? You removed the board that was blocking the door. Oh, we're unblocking a door. Okay. Where, where are we unblocking a door to? The upstairs, I want to say? Yeah, this is the upstairs. This is right near the flicker and light room, isn't it? I don't know. It's hard to keep track of these things. <laughs> I'm going to pop in here and hit up the save point. Yes, save. Saving is good and good for you. Also, I'm kind of at a loss as to what to do now. Because we, we unblocked a door, and we got a bunch of books about, you know, how the, the ritual is terrible, and it requires torture if and torture and murder. So, you know, those are, th those are things that are bad. Um, but that's really all we learned by going up there. But clearly, we went this way to get to that point. And this, we went this way to get up there. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we gotta try and leave now? Because there's no other... I guess there is other stuff we can double check that we're... Usually... I, I hate to say usually, but if, in Fatal Frame 1, if the game looped you around to a... Uh, an area you were at before, it usually had a reason for doing so. What's that on the floor? Is that something? It's nothing. Okay. Also, I just noticed the, uh, the, the bows that both Mio and Mayu are wearing kind of look like crimson butterflies. That's fun. And by fun, I mean it's terrible. Symbolism. It's good and good for you. Oh, there's a shiny. Yeah, see? We were supposed to come back here I guess no we saw that already all right give me that shiny Mayu what are you looking at don't be weird All right, well, you know, that was less than helpful all around, but i assuming the guy we saw in the cutscene there is the folklorist. And also, I want to go on record saying right now that these little, like, black and white cutaways that, you know, even Fatal Frame 1 used, the, the little black and white cutaways in this game are much better uh, as far as, like, giving apprehension and kind of an anxiety feeling than they were in Fatal Frame 1. They're, they're a lot, like, more nuanced. I love it. Okay, it looks like an old diary. Ancient village records have been stored in the Ceremony Master's house. Many discuss the legends, folk tales, or rituals of the village. There are sure to be many records of folklore value. The Forbidden Ritual is also called the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual. Twins are used to help seal the gate to hell. There are two parts. The Visible Ceremony, which occurs periodically, and if it fails, a Hidden Ceremony is performed. If all the ceremonies fail, the gate to hell will open, the dead will pour out, and the skies will go dark. They call this disaster the Repentance. The whereabouts of Munakata's friends, the twin boys Itsuki and Mitsuki, are unknown, which is a little troubling. If they are found, I might be able to ask them about the village. I assume that was the twins we saw in the uh, little cutscene there. Anything else over here? Many difficult sounding books line the shelves. They're on subjects like legends, sacrifices, and rituals. No, okay, that was it. Sorry, Mayu, you're just, you're in the way. I'm sorry. 
We'll look at this again for fun. Yes, flowers are display in the dimly lit window. Hmm, good. Let's check this out too while we're here, because clearly we found out more information circling back to where we've been already. Let's check out the flickering light room. Oh, I've missed you. How you been, flickering right, light room? Good? There's no corpses on the floor this time. That's probably for the best. Go back here and check out the, the room with all the creepy dolls, because, you know, again, why not? We're gonna inspect the haunted house. Might as well go back to the creepy doll room a bunch of times. Oh, there's a... There's something going on. No? Maybe on the roof? There's definitely a... There we go. Oh, oh. There it is. Hello? Where, what is that? Ugh. Doll stand shadow. I don't like that at all. Don't like that one bit. Well, I'm glad we took a picture of that. That's gonna haunt my dreams. Good. Rate even, some might say. There's something over here? Why is the camera spinning like that? Don't be weird, camera. I already got Mayu being weird. I don't need extra weirdness going on. Buttering candle flame gives off a faintly warm glow. Okay, well that's lovely. Thank you for uh, adding some flair to the world, Mio. Alright, I guess that's all that's in there. And it's weird, like, we came all the way in here, and there was really nothing. Like, there was a get-that-little-picture, but, like, those aren't really super important. Heck, I don't even think it really gave us points. It was more of just a, ooh, check that out, but... I feel like we're... We're kind of investigating more naturally in this game than we were in the first game. In Fatal Frame 1, it was pretty obvious that the game wanted you to go from here to here to here, and then... Do what need to be done. This game it's more kind of like, yeah, just wander around the house. Stuff will happen. It's cool. And it is. <laughs> and it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's terrifying, but it is cool by the same token. Alright, so what I guess we're going to do now is try and leave again. By the, through the room where the insta-kill ghost is. Hopefully it won't be there. And if it is, you know, uh, we're gonna save it right now. So if we get horribly, brutally murdered, it's it's just okay. That being said, um, if it is there, I'm gonna try and take a picture of it this time. As one of the one of the comments in the video for the last episode suggested that maybe you know, like to see what that does at the very least. My my suspicion it's gonna do nothing, but you no, know, that's not guaranteed. Rain is pouring down in the small garden, open to the skies. Yeah, I love that stuff. Is there anything over here? Mayu, why are you looking so intently? Wait. What? Oh, jeez, Mayu, don't just shout wait for no reason. Creepy. Creep me out. Ooh, what? You found some camera equipment and film. Acquired the evade additional function. Okay, the evade additional function. Avoid damage. Allows you to avoid damage when caught by a spirit by pressing the shutter button at just the right moment to set off a flash and stun the spirit. Okay, cool, great. Also, huh, that's weird. This was covered by a cloth before and Mio had no interest in seeing what it was. Maybe that's also what's upstairs here. There's a large dragon figure here. And that's it. That's that's all we get. That that's kind of like the the statue with the feet sticking out of it that we just kind of run across a minute ago. So maybe it would behoove us to like double check that stuff whenever we come through an area. All right, and go all black and white and evil. No. Okay, I, th I think we're all good here. I say extremely hesitantly, wanting to not die. There's the murder closet over there. That's fun. All right, let's, uh, is there anything in the middle here? Oh, just the broken down fireplace, okay. Let's go this way. I wonder if the door's still sealed shut. Come on, Mayu. Let us go off on an adventure of pain and terror. Also, Mayu, come on, pick up your pace. Let's, let's, we're in it to win it, so to speak. Wait, what?
kind of. Wait, wasn't this the bloody handprint room? Or was that somewhere else? It's hard to keep track now. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know what I'm talking about. Now let's see, can we leave? Is leaving an option now? Try pushing on the entrance door, but it's held by something it won't budge. Okay, countless handprints on the door, so no, we are not leaving yet. So clearly, there's something we still need here. Let's loop back through the area we unlocked. And maybe it's something I missed. I know this really doesn't go anywhere but up, but... Also, I'd really like, you know, that, and whatever... Whatever, I uh, again, the camera's like, I don't know what you're talking about, there's nothing there. There it is. Yeah, is that you, Mayu? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm all up in your jazz here. Maybe I need... Uh, see, I would just take a sharp stick and jimmy that around in there, but... And this was the door the ghosts opened and went nowhere. Guess we'll double check this. It's weird that the door is, like, left open, too. I mean, there's lots of things that are weird in this game, but that's one of them. Okay, door stuck fast. And this is the one that's locked, right? With the different diamond key. Yeah, okay. There's a lock engraved with a diamond link pattern. Family crest. Yep, we don't need that. Also, I just noticed the, like, ghostly mist hanging above these curtains here. That's not... That's not cool, man. Creepy indoor mist. All right, well, let's go upstairs again. Funny, I complain about the doors closing the closing on their own, but, you know, one of the ghosts opens the door and it doesn't close at all, and all of a sudden, that's just as bad. Oh, hi, ball. I think something fell. Yeah, I, I know, Mayu. I, I heard it, too. It's this ball right here. An old ball is on the floor. Crimson ball. It, it seems like it fell through the hole in the ceiling. It did. Oh, see, I, I would have went with stick, but I think that was the ghost kid was like, oh, let me drop my ball through this hole to knock this thing out. Makes sense. I said it's an option. I would have went with a pointy stick, but ball is just as good. You coming, Mayu? There you go, Mayu. Welcome to the party, pal. Okay. Maybe we'll come loose if you drop the ball onto it. Yes. Do that. There we go. I like how they... It looks like the object that was caught dropped with the ball to the floor below. I like how they animated the ball being dropped through the hole. But the, the shiny object can only just be placed on the ground. We couldn't see that fall. That would have been too much work. Okay. So, I think, hopefully, this shiny thing's a key. Otherwise, I'm going to be at a loss as to what to do here. Something is on the ground where the bar fell. Diamond link key? Good. A diamond link design is carved on the wooden key. Excellent. What I always wanted. You know, when, when I was a kid and parents asked me what I wanted for Christmas, I used to tell them I want a diamond link key with a family crest on it. And they'd like, well, that's a strange request. And I go, I know, right? But, you know, it's just, it's something I really want. Oh, wait, no, we were, we, we went the wrong way. No, Mayu, my, Mayu, my, come on. My, there, oh. Again, I'm still wondering why Mayu's leg is bandaged. Did the game explain that and I missed it? I don't think the game explained that. Like, I, obviously, I'm kind of scatterbrained, so... No, the game explaining something and me missing it is not out of the realm of possibility. No, Mayu, why'd you slow down there? I'm trying to get you to run with me, and you're just like, nah, I'm not gonna run. Like, you don't run with me, and then when I get too far ahead of you, you shout like, oh, hey, hey where are you going? Like, yeah, I'm just right here. Alright, open this bad boy up. You unlock the door with the diamond link key. Good. Show me potato salad. Okay, alright, that's... 
<laughs> Mio like spun faced the wrong direction there when we walked in and like ruined the whole thing. But what was that? It looked like he walked into something strange. Oh, it's a door. Okay. And a set of keys? Why am I Yeah, again, that guy was like, why am I trapped here? Maybe the ritual to sacrifice outsiders? Like, that might be it. Folklorist 8, an old book is on the floor. Long ago, a visitor to a mountain village became a ceremonial sacrifice. When the veiled priests captured me, they said things like outsider and kusabi. What exactly is the nature of the hidden ceremony? The key the twin girls gave me must be for the side door of the house. The key for the cell must be in another house. According to the map, the key is hidden in a cave under the Osaka house. Maybe this is the cellar key in the passageway that I read about. Okay, so there's a key out of that this house here, and then we have to go to the Osaka house, is what I'm getting here. There are two padlocks on the cell door. There's a symbol engraved on each padlock. One is light, and the other is shadow. Okay. So we got a double key situation going on here. Fair enough. Oh, and there's like a weird... There's like something on the ground here that I can't walk around and can't interact with. Okay, that's fine. Let, let, me, let me out now. There we go. There's a layer of dust on the ashes in the coal brazier that hasn't been used in a long time. Just like everything else here. It's hard right away from whatever that is. A rotten smell wafts out of the urn. It's too dark to see inside. Yeah, I wish I had a flashlight game. Whenever you want to give me my flashlight back, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, oh help. I'm trying. Yeah, that's going to haunt your dreams, Mayu. That's going to haunt them good and long. Maybe that's what the rotten smell was. Leave my twin sister alone, you monsters. Okay. Yeah, Mayu, that's why I tell you to stay close to me. In case you you hadn't been listening the hundred times I've said it before. I'm gonna say it one more time for you. Maybe stay close. Oh no, we're going downstairs. I'm thinking it now. Nah, we're not upstairs. We're going to basement level. Oh no. Yeah, you know, Mio, that's not really a joyful hop down the stairs situation. Maybe dial that back a bit. <laughs> Hello, ghosts, demons, gateway to hell, anybody? Oh, no. I don't like this at all. Getting Blair Witch flashback vibes here. Ooh, there is a save point over there, though. And we're going to ignore the big giant well until we can go save it. No, I, I, I said we're going to ignore it. Where are they coming from? I don't know. Oh, they're floating around in a circle. Okay, that's fun. No, no, stop it. You leave my sister alone. Is there another one or is it just the one? I think it's just the one. Okay. What are you doing? Don't be weird. Oh, oh, you, st you sneaky. Okay, the, the range upgrade has not helped at all. I thought I got you, but apparently you got me up. No, back, demon. Back, dang you. Yeah, just just cower there in fear, Maya. That's effective. Oh, the window for the follow-up combo hit was very short. It seemed like even shorter than usual. Huh? Where'd you go? Come on. Oh, 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 he's been a Rooney. 
Oh, you're fast. You're skedaddling. Like that. Slow you down. See how you like that. Take that, jerk. Yeah, what's up now? No, don't tear us up here. That's cheating. There you go. Teleporting. Don't do it. Back. You, you keep smacking Mio or Mayo. I'm getting worried that she's gonna die. Don't die, Mayo. Don't die, Mayu. It's important that you do not die. I'm gonna pick that up right after I save it. Because now that we just had a combat, I'm worried something else terrible is gonna happen. Show me a save point. I'm gonna want to use it. Because as usual, that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you everybody so much for joining me on another exciting look into the world of Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly. I am Devo Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, Mayu and I will see you on the flip side.